For the sign of Aries, hello and welcome to my channel. So, also just remember the roles can be switched. So if you feel this isn't you, it's probably your person. So Aries, for the present time coming up in June, we got this emperor. Now the emperor is a very interesting character. And it's paired with the Two of Pentacles. Wow. Okay. The Emperor, it shows that domination over the mind, over the heart, is sometimes necessary even though it's not wanted. Um, so we could be, it feels like you could be dealing with someone who doesn't show emotion. Um, they don't like to come across as vulnerable with this Emperor here. So you could be dealing with someone like that or someone like this could be, coming toward you like this or this could be you Aries so when hard choices must be made it's important to maintain your concentration and focus and with the Emperor it signals this but it also signals that now is a time that you'll find it easier to make hard choices and I say this because you will not be using your heart only your head so you might want to just enjoy the assertiveness and confidence that this self-controlled focus brings. If you can master yourself, then you should have little problems mastering most of the other obstacles that life throws at you. Now the Emperor is paired with the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles, you could be dealing with someone who's back and forth, in and out. The uh, Two of Pentacles could be known as a two-timer. They deal with more than one person, several tasks. Two of Pentacles, two main issues at front in your mind. So you, you may need to pull back from trying to pay attention to quite so many things because multitasking is not your friend. You may need to cut down on things that you're doing in order to focus on two main priorities. So, if you're dealing with someone, they may have trouble finding time and energy for you. Unless this is you, then it will go the other way around. Now, with these two cards paired together, the Emperor and the Two of Pentacles, I'm picking up that you, you're dealing with someone that they don't show emotion. It feels like they're really cold. They, they, they never want to come across as vulnerable. They could be a boss, a leader. Very arrogant type, this emperor. Yeah, very arrogant. And it looks like they might juggle. They might do a lot of juggling here with the Two of Pentacles. So they might be dealing with you and someone else. And maybe someone else. So... You could be dealing with someone who has a hard time finding time and energy for you. But let's take a look at the rest of the reading and see what we come up with. So the person you're dealing with, they see you as King of Swords and the Moon card. King of Swords, it stands for a powerful, opinionated, forceful person. He will, but not always, have hair on the darker end of the spectrum. It could go either way. You also could be tempted to think only about how things affect you personally. Very selfish, self-centered type. So you might want to consider the feelings of others before you act. Also, this King of Swords, like I said, it's a very, very forceful energy. So you may not be able to get this person to change his mind or to do what you want. So you may have to change something major about your behavior, thoughts, and or expectations, but don't overextend your reach. So, so Aries, your person, they see you as being very forceful. They may think that um, you could be mistreating them. You overstep your bounds. Very opinionated. You can be forceful, cold, kind of like the emperor. Or they could see you as cutting something out in a very harsh way. 
Now, the King of Swords is paired with the Moon card. Well, the Moon card, you could be feeling psychic and intuitive. So, it's going to be important for you to trust your instincts and your impressions, even if you're not sure where it's coming from. Also, not that you need to be mistrusting, but it will be helpful for you to realize that it's possible all is not really what it seems. So if you feel you cannot trust someone, then you probably cannot go with your gut. And if you're waiting on an answer from someone, it may unfortunately take longer than you would like for it to. So it's about trying to stay patient. So this is also how your person sees you, Aries. They see you like the moon card, king of swords, forceful, opinionated. They feel like you wear a mask with this moon card. You don't really say how you really feel or they could, they could feel that or sense that you're being deceptive. Yeah. Yeah, so this could be a time when uh, things get unheated or uncomfortable. It's an emotional time in a love relationship when you get the moon card. Yeah, because they're not, they see you as, um, they could see you as, like I said, the roles could be switched. They could see you as not trusting this situation. You, you could, they could see you as feeling like they wear a mask. Or it could go the other round. Uh, deception. This card is about deception. Being deceitful. That's how they see you. And you're being forceful. They could see you as wanting to cut cut things out. Yeah. Or cut this situation out. Or just... You want to cut out the deception. You want to cut out the lies and maybe get to the truth. That's how they see you. Now, let's take a look at how you see them. So, you see them like Queen of Wands and Knight of Swords. Now, the Queen of Wands, uh, this queen, she has a lot of fire energy. She could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, very fiery. When it's not referring to an actual person, it stands for getting a whole lot accomplished and your focus could be on work or career. Just keep in mind the queen is a very positive, uplifting energy. When it does actually stand for a person, she's a really good friend who's 100% on your side, even though she could seem a bit self-absorbed. Just a little side note, if you're trying to give birth, conceive, and the queen of wands appears in your reading, it's one of the most positive signs that there can be. So be careful if you're not trying to have a baby. Now, you see them like the Queen of Wands. Very, very determined about you. They could be egotistical. They usually get what they want. Very confident type with the Queen of Wands here. Queen of Wands knows her worth. Now, Queen of Wands is with the Knight of Swords for um, the way they also, the way you also see them. I hope I said that right. How you see them, Queen of Wands, determined, and you also see them as a Knight of Swords. Now, the Knight of Swords, as you can see, this man, he's looks like he's on this, this goat or animal, some type of, I don't know, maybe a cow. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but. He's charging in really fast. And he's got a big sword in his hand. So he's determined to get to what he wants. At any expense. He'll cut out whatever gets in his way. So. Someone or something. Um, you could be receiving some news from someone or something. And you're likely like what you hear. So this King of Swords, it points to a lot of activity, travel, getting out and about, getting things accomplished. It's a fairly upbeat and cheerful energy. It means that someone or something desirable is about to seek you out. Your physical, emotional, and spiritual energy is at a peak with the Knight of Swords. So somebody's got something to say. 
you see them as wanting to reach out to you. They, they want to talk to you. They want to connect with you. They want to communicate um, very fast with this Knight of Swords. They, they got a plan. They want to take action. They're being really impulsive about it, too. Yeah, they may want to sweep you off your feet with a Knight of Swords. That's how you see them. So they're coming in really fast. Very determined with the Queen of Wands here. Like I said, the Queen of Wands gets what she wants. And this person is coming after you, Aries. Very fast. So look out. Now, why it's happening, we got the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Pentacles, once again, it's about messages coming in. Someone, someone still wants to reach out. It could have something to do with money, finance. Because when you hear the word of Pentacles in the tarot, that's coins, cash, money, finance. You're likely to receive some news that you've been waiting on. And the news is really good news. Really good news with the Knight of Pentacles. It's a practical card. It tells you to pay attention to the mundane and normal parts of your lives. And maybe you've heard the saying before, if you take care of the little things, the big things will fall into place. The Knight of Pentacles has asked you to look at how you're handling your affairs. So one of the reasons it's happening is because of the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles, just to break it down to you, it's about being slow and steady. Very stable and civil. Not being not being crazily crazy adventurous. No, no, not being adventurous. Slow, steady, stable, civil. This type is really good to marry. The Knight of Pentacles. So this is one of the reasons why it's happening. And um, it's with the Knight of Wands. You got. I think you got all the message cards in this reading. There's a lot of talk, discussion, and wanting to reach out. Lots of messages here in this reading. Interesting. Knight of Wands is someone wants to reach out again. Great time for travel if you can manage to get away. And if you're feeling charged up, well, you could be feeling charged up, full of energy and ready to get things done. Your confidence is increasing and it'll help reach towards any goals you have. The Knights, they're message bearers. Messages are very positive. Their projects, they're moving along more successful than you ever thought. So we got some fearless, brave energy here. Could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Very confident. Okay, so... Wow, a lot, like I said, a lot of communication. Somebody really wants to talk. I have a lot of discussions here. So let's see if we can make sense of this reading because it's, I know, it's all over the place. So let's see if we can get the full or the complete picture. So basically for the present time, we got this emperor who doesn't express himself, doesn't show any emotion, cold as a fish, okay? Um, they don't want to come across as vulnerable. You'll never know how they feel about you. Looks like there's a juggler here. Somebody's a two-timer. Yeah, they go back and forth. They multitask. They probably have more than you with the Two of Pentacles. Now, King of Swords, this is considered the narcissist card. Or you could just be cutting something out, being very forceful. And I'm um, picking up that you might just be cutting out or wanting to cut out the deception that you're picking up from some from your person. Because this is how they see you with the moon card. You want to cut out the deception, the deceit. And you do it in a you, you feel like you have to do it in a very forceful, forceful way. Okay, or they could see you as a narcissist. 
But I'm picking up, you want to cut out the deception and the games. Okay, because the moon card, that's what it's about. Um, deceit. And you see them as the queen of wands. Very determined, egotistical. Um, they're determined to get what they want. And they're charging in really fast, the Knight of Swords. They could be calling you, texting you. They could be, uh, look like they could be flying in long distance, maybe. Or just traveling far to get to you. But they're coming no matter what. They got the sword in their hand and nothing can stop them now. They want to reach out to you, talk to you, get next to you. Knight of Swords coming in really fast. Very determined with the Queen of Wands. That's how you see them. Why it's happening? Knight of Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles, I'm picking up it's you, Aries, because it looks like you're trying to cut out the deception. The moon card and the King of Swords. Yeah, you're having a hard time maybe getting to know this person. Um, so the Knight of Pentacles, for why it's happening, um, you feel like you need to put a pause or put a halt to this connection or slow it down. That's this, the Knight a pentacles is the card that's above why happening. Like I said, it's about slow, steady, stable, stable, civil. You also, so you want to put a, you want to slow things down. Because they could see you as thinking that there's deception. And they see you wanting to cut it out. So... I'm picking up, you, you're you deciding to just slow it down. Just stop it from coming, stop this person from coming in so fast. Because, like I said, I, picking up that they see you as thinking there's deception. Because we got a two-timer here. You see this person as a juggler and they're always rushing in with the knight of swords and the knight of wands the card that's below why it's happening that's an in and out energy this is the player card so you're being smart about this you think this person is a player with the knight of wands Right below the Knight of Pentacles, that's the Knight of Wands. It's in and out energy. Yeah, player types, very charming. Um, so, this Knight of Pentacles, the card above why it's happening, that's, that's you, Aries. You're like, whoa, let's slow this down. You're, you're talking to this person. Let's put a, put a halt to this. That's what the Knight of Pentacles can do also. Let's make this more slow. No, well, let's make this slow. Because you're picking up that this person um, can be deceptive. They juggle. They are, they're back and forth. As soon as they're in, they're out. They don't stick around. And they could be the emperor type. They don't show any emotion. So you really don't know where this person is coming from. Yeah, you kind of, you might feel like you're dealing with a stranger sometimes. Because like I said, we got the moon card here. We got deception. We got the two of pentacles, a juggler. You know they got more than one. We got the, the emperor who doesn't come across as vulnerable. They don't express themselves in a loving way. And then you got the knight of wands, the player. In and out. In and out energy. As soon as they get there, they're gone. They're gone. So, once again, they see you as wanting to cut out deception. You feel like you cannot trust the situation. 
and you know your instincts are on point. Yeah, you're you're feeling psychic and, and and psychic and intuitive, and this is what you're picking up on. And um, so, yeah, you're doing the smart thing. You you're being like the Knight of Pentacles, the card that's above why it's happening. Knight of Pentacles. Let's take this slow. Let's bring this down. Let's um, make it more stable and civil. So you're putting a halt to this rush. Because your person comes rushing in with the Knight of Swords. They're very determined to get you, Aries. But I, 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 you're on top of this. <laughs> you're being smart about it. Let's, mm -mm, let's slow this down. Yeah, because right now you... You got an idea of what this person is all about. You got an idea. Mm -hmm. So um, you're just going to slow it down and just see where it goes from here. So good for you, Aries. Good for you. So I hope this reading resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Thank and if you like this reading, please comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, that way you'll be notified when I post my next reading, post my next reading, post my next reading.